tell us about your legacy. We can look at the the data capture you did uh, before being Fed chairman. We can look, as you say, as the responsibility of bringing forward the Volcker Revolution. And then there's all the challenges of the crisis, the critics and, you know, the blow-ups here and the blow-ups here. What would you like your legacy to be, or how would you like your legacy to be framed? Uh, you're, speaking from, you're speaking to a biased person uh, on this issue. Uh, I would say basically that I was a, I, I brought economic analysis in a way that was different from what it has been historically, and I think it exists to this day. I don't say that I generated it, but uh, uh, I was certainly involved. You can't be there for almost 19 years without having an awful lot of effect. So uh, I'm proud of what I did. I, uh, I'm acutely aware of the mistakes that I made. And I said, could I have done otherwise? And I said, no. Uh, unless you become a superhuman being, I mean, I used to look for my briefcase indicator, which I thought was a hilarity. And I said, you know, I would say at some point, uh, they should understand that the profound wisdom that's in there is my wife prepared my lunch. Well, you, Mrs. Greenspan prepared uh, your, your lunch. Would you suggest that Chairman Powell needs to get out the briefcase to uh, uh, get a signal off before the press conference that they have today? I do not advise the Federal Reserve on major policy issues. Such as the briefcase. Alan Greenspan, thank you so much. My pleasure.